the land of the midnight sun, the land of trolls, the fjords, and the vikings. These are all the nicknames that refer to Norway. This beauty of northern Europe that counts more than 5 million inhabitants. Norway captivates with its breathtaking landscapes, its crystal clear lakes, and the light show offered by the magical phenomenon of the northern lights. If you're interested in visiting Norway, move there, or just curious to know a little bit more about the country, here are 10 interesting facts about Norway. But before we start, if you're new to the channel, subscribe and activate that notification bell so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. Number 1. The Viking Era in Norway Norway's history was marked by the Viking Era. In fact, the country is still home to remnants of the era, including shipwrecks. The Viking Era in Norway began in 793 with the sacking of the monastery of Lindisfarne in England and ended in 1066 with the fall of Harald Herod. Beyond the plundering, the Vikings were excellent traders and fearsome explorers. They sailed throughout much of Europe to wage war and explore trade. The Norwegian Vikings were known for their courage and resilience, which allowed them to always cultivate this thirst for conquest despite defeats. The Vikings founded several cities and colonies, including Dublin in Ireland and Normandy in France. They colonized Iceland, the first step towards the conquest of Greenland. It has also been accepted that the first discovery of America by Europeans dates back to the expedition led by Leif Erikson to Finland, which corresponds to the province of Newfoundland in Canada, around the year 1000. Today you can rediscover Viking history by visiting the Viking Ship Museum in Oslo or by attending the dramatized reenactment of the Battle of St. Olaf that takes place every July at Strickelstad in Trondelag County. Number 2. Norway is one of the happiest countries in the world Norwegians are one of the happiest people in the world. The country was ranked first in 2017, second in 2018, and third in 2019 according to the World Happiness Report, ranking conducted under the auspices of the United Nations. This ranking is due to the superior quality of life that the country offers. With its large oil and gas reserves, Norway is one of the richest countries in the world. Its economic prosperity is based primarily on the abundance of its natural resources. In fact, the exploitation of oil resources accounts for half of its exports. Norway is one of the least densely populated countries in Europe. With 14 inhabitants per square kilometer, it offers a higher standard of living with a GDP per capita in 2019 of $75,419.63 a year. The unemployment rate is also low, 5.2% in 2020. In addition to this economic prosperity, Norwegians also have a feeling of security, which is explained by a good social security system, efficient health care services, equal rights, particularly in terms of parental leave, and above all, a very high level of security in the country. On the other hand, the cost of living in Norway is 32% higher than in France. But this is balanced by an average gross monthly income per capita that amounted in 2019 to $6,875. Living happiness, the Norwegian way, is about more than just enjoying social and economic benefits. It is also about adopting a state of mind that has become a true philosophy of life, the Koss. Number 3. The Koss, or Norwegian Way of Life Like the Finnish Sisu and the Swedish Lagom, the word Koss reflects a typically Norwegian state of mind that translates into the pleasure of simple things and moments of happiness shared with warmth and conviviality. Koss can take many forms and be reflected in different moments of life where the individual feels safe, happy, and well surrounded. It can be a moment shared over a cup of coffee, a dinner with family or friends, in the warmth of a fireplace. Koss is inseparable from the link to nature and local traditions. Like their Nordic neighbors, Norwegians enjoy freedom of access to nature, which is enshrined in law. Outdoor recreation is an integral part of the national identity and part of the conception of Koss. This idea of Norwegian well-being can be reflected through moments shared in symbiosis with nature. It can be a hike in the mountains, an evening watching the northern lights, a weekend in the mountains in a chalet, 
In short, Koss is the art of cultivating good moments and celebrating the simple pleasures of life. Number four, the largest population of Sami is in Norway. The Sami people are one of the last aboriginal peoples of the far north. They are the indigenous people of a region that covers the north of Norway, Sweden, and Finland, as well as part of Lapland, and are estimated to number more than 80,000 individuals. Norway has the largest Sami population, especially in the north of the country, in the county of Finnmark. The history of the people goes back more than 4,000 years. The Sami have suffered colonization and forced Christianization. They're still fighting for the preservation of their land, culture, and traditions. The Sami are politically organized. In Norway and Sweden, they have their own parliament, which oversees education, research, and the promotion of the Sami language. It is also responsible for the distribution of grants and funds for the Sami culture. The Sami also have their own flag, whose colors symbolize their survival and their connection with nature. The Sami organized their traditional and ancestral activities around hunting, fishing, and reindeer herding. Today, only 10% of the Sami population are reindeer herders. The rest occupy salaried positions in various sectors. Some of them are also self-employed in activities related to the Sami culture. If you visit Northern Norway, you can have a unique experience by going to see the Sami culture. You can camp in a lavo or a Sami tent go dog sledding or taste the traditional Sami dishes of reindeer stew and potato pancakes. A change of scenery guaranteed. Number five, Norway has two official languages. If you feel like learning Norwegian, this fact may interest you. Indeed, Norway has two official languages if you prefer two written forms recognized as official since 1980 and which both constitute Norwegian. These are Bokmal and Nynorsk. Bokmal is the language of books. It is strongly influenced by Danish. Nynorsk is derived from ancient Norwegian dialects. Both forms are officially equal. Both are used in schools, the media, and public administration. These two North Germanic languages, although separate from each other, are mutually intelligible. However, Bokmal is used by a larger majority of the population, 85 to 90 percent. Nynorsk is now spoken by about 10 to 15 percent of the population. It is found more in the rural parts of Norway, especially in the western mountains and in the north. In addition to these two written languages, there is also the Sami language. The indigenous people speak several dialects within their language. If you find it difficult to learn or if the language does not appeal to you, English is a very common language among the population. You'll have no trouble making yourself understood during your stay there. Number 6. Norway, the land of trolls. The term troll has become part of our internet language and the figure has become an integral part of our contemporary film culture. But did you know the history of trolls is first and foremost embedded in Norse mythology and folklore? The term troll in Norse mythology refers to an evil and monstrous creature generally considered to be evil and dangerous and who opposed men and gods. Present in tales and legends, they are sometimes giants, sometimes dwarfs. They live in caves, fearing the sunlight that turns them into stone. Trolls are characterized by their great ugliness and their malice. Today, these creatures populate Scandinavian cities and especially Norway. Trolls have several objects in their effigy that you can buy in their souvenir stores in Norway. From coffee mugs to wooden statuettes to figurines, the trolls come in a variety of accessories. On the island of Senja in northern Norway, not so long ago you could visit the Centralet, a kind of museum and theme park built around this mythical creature. The Senja troll is widely known as one of the most important tourist attractions in northern Norway. It was registered in the record book in 1997 as the largest troll in the world. Unfortunately, the famous attraction was destroyed by fire in 2019. But rest assured, these creatures are not about to disappear. A true embodiment of Norway's folklore, trolls are part of the country's cultural heritage. Number 7. Nils Olaf, mascot of the Norwegian Royal Guard. Another important figure of Norway is the mascot of the Norwegian Royal Guard. It is Nils Olaf, appointed Honorary Colonel-in-Chief of the elite Norwegian Royal Guard in 2005, then Brigadier General in 2016, he was knighted in 2008 and now bears the title of Sir. But Sir Nils Olaf is not a mascot like the others. 
since he is actually a royal penguin. Indeed, Nils Olaf is a royal penguin living in the zoo of Edinburgh in Scotland. If the mascot remains the same, the incarnation changes. The life expectancy of a penguin being 20 years. The original Nils Olaf was chosen as the mascot of the guard by Lieutenant Nils Egelin, who gave him his first name. His name comes from the name of the King of Norway at the time, Olaf V. The current Nils Olaf is the third of the name. During official ceremonies, the role of the mascot is taken very seriously. When he arrives, the penguin reviews the troops lined up. He inspects the uniforms of the Royal Guard with his curious eye before joining his master. There is no doubt about it, Nils Olaf is the most famous penguin in the world. Number 8. The Midnight Sun in Norway Norway is located above the Arctic Circle. The Earth rotates around an axis that is tilted in relation to the Sun, and during the summer months, the North Pole is oriented toward our star, which produces an amazing natural phenomenon called the Midnight Sun or Polar Day. The Sun never sets and remains visible above the horizon. This natural phenomenon is similar to a sunrise as well as a sunset. This red golden light that covers the sky is characteristic of Scandinavian countries but lasts longer in Norway and more particularly in Svalbard. In this archipelago of the Arctic Ocean, the midnight sun does not set for four months between April and August. This phenomenon is a real spectacle for travelers in Norway. The beauty of the landscape and its colors make many people dream. Several tourist places in the country offer activities during the night to enjoy the show. One of the most popular tourist places to watch the midnight sun is undoubtedly the North Cape. Nothing will interfere with the show on top of the high cliffs of the North Cape. You will be alone in front of the sea with a view of Svalbard and the North Pole in the distance to enjoy the magnificent landscape of the midnight sun in peace and quiet. Number 9. The most remote island in the world is in Norway. Did you know that the most isolated, uninhabited island in the world is in Norway? Well, it's not really located in the Kingdom of Norway, but it's in the south of the Atlantic Ocean near Antarctica. It's Bouvet Island. This territory belonging to Norway is a lost island of 49 square kilometers of land covered by glaciers that lies between the tip of South Africa and the northern limit of the Antarctic Plate. The nearest land is Queen Maud in Antarctica, which is more than 1,750 kilometers to the south. Bouvet Island is an uninhabited volcanic island discovered in 1739 by the French naval officer Jean-Baptiste Charles Bouvet de Lousier, who gave it his name. Claimed in 1825 by the United Kingdom, the latter finally renounced it in 1928 in favor of Norway, which had occupied the island for a year. More than 90% of Bouvet Island is made up of glaciers and was formed from a volcano. Every summer in the southern hemisphere, sections of the glaciers fall from the high cliffs of volcanic origin into the sea or onto the beaches. Its cliffs, steep on all sides, make access difficult. Because of its isolation and inhospitable environment, the island is shrouded in mystery and continues to fascinate and intrigue scientists. And at number 10, trust, a Nordic value. The discovery of Norway ends with a value that seems to be common to the Nordic countries and that can be found in Norway, trust. It's a key element of the population's happiness and no doubt explains the ranking of the country and its Nordic neighbors among the happiest countries in the world. But what does trust mean and how is it reflected in the practices of Norwegians? For Norwegians, trust refers first and foremost to neighborly trust and trust in government and administration. Norwegians believe deeply in the other as a responsibility and trustworthy being and behave with each other on the basis of this value. In practice, therefore, you may come across in small Norwegian villages near farms self-service tables with vegetables and a card for prices. Right next to it is the container where the customer is supposed to pay for their shopping. No cameras or cashiers are there to supervise the operations. For Norwegians, the trust in the ethics of the individual is such that they are not afraid of having products or money stolen. Another example of trust, and one that tends to shock many travelers at first glance, is parents who leave their babies in their strollers outside the store while shopping or enjoying a coffee inside. While to some this may seem crazy and irresponsible, to Norwegians it's another example of trust and harmony values rooted in society and which govern the relationship of Norwegians with each other.
And here we are at the end of our video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please feel free to like it and share it with others. Also, feel free to check out some of the other amazing videos we prepared for you on our Four Corners Facts channel. See you soon!